Hey, what's up everybody? Victor here with K9P Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the place command. So right now I have Charlie and I have Brooklyn. They're both holding the place. Um, they understand the command. We did a lot of repetitions um, going on to it. Um, but there's a difference between te teaching a dog a uh, command and executing it. For instance, you know, tell the dog place is going on there and actually holding the command. All right, so right now they're actually holding the command, both of them. All right, they know they can't get up until I tell them to get up. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how we get a dog to do that. All right, we're gonna talk about failure is success. Remember that, failure is success, and that's important in everything we do in life. We have to fail to be successful. Same thing with the dogs, okay? So I'm gonna take Charlie here in a minute, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I want her to fail. I'm, I need to figure out what's gonna get her to get up, all right? And when we find out what that is, then we retrain it. We put it right back, we tell her no, she needs to stay there, and we retrain it, okay? And then we do it again, and then we do it again. And the dog gets better every single time. Just like if you're working out at the gym, or you're trying to run 10 miles, you're not gonna just start out and try to do 10 miles, it's not gonna happen, right? You have to build up to that, maybe do a mile, okay? And then you fail, you know, you're gonna be fatigued, you can't run anymore, and then you push yourself a little further the next mile, or the next day, and maybe do a mile and a quarter, mile and a half, and then so on and so forth, until you do that 10 miles, and then that 10 miles becomes easy. In the dog's case, if we're gonna do it, until whatever the distraction is becomes easy to the dog. And this is the same process if you're dealing with a, with a dog that's fearful, or like nervous around certain things, like we use um, the vacuum cleaners. A lot of dogs are, are nervous and um, act a certain way around vacuum cleaners. We don't want that. I mean, even though they are, we still we still train them. We don't stop doing it because the dog is nervous. We do it more and more and more, get the dog to understand, hey, this, I need to stay here. And over time, as you do it more often, the dog is gonna understand, oh, that's not doing anything bad to me. I need to stay here. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what this kind of looks like right now. So I have Charlie here. I'm gonna take her off and I'm gonna put her back on. Okay. All right, so my okay marker is the release marker that she can get off. Okay, now I'm gonna put her back on. Please. She knows she needs to lay down, all right? Now, you know, I'm watching her, I'm seeing where she's at mentally, is she about to get up? If she's about to get up, then I'm gonna pump the brakes. I'm not gonna put too much pressure. I'm not gonna try to find that distraction just yet. I want the dog to be relatively calm, and then we start doing things. We start doing different things, try to get the dog to break. Okay, she's doing well, she's holding it. I might take out a broom. Okay, I might start sweeping. Trying to figure out ways to get the dogs to break. And they've been doing this and they've been here for a little bit of time, you know, so we, we've been working on it, but this is the process. If Charlie were to break, I put her, I get, I grab, gather up the leash, put it right back, nope, place, give her maybe a slight correction, just a little leash pop, let her know, hey, that's unacceptable, put her right back, and then we do it again. And then I further it more. Okay, so I'm gonna really, I'm, hopefully you guys can see this, I'm gonna really um, try to get her going, okay? Okay, she's not breaking, she actually likes that, all right? So good, all right, that's good. So that's not helping. She's doing really well. Okay, so I'm gonna bust out the vacuum cleaner now. Let's try this, all right? So I'm gonna take out the vacuum cleaner. Plug this bad boy in. Uh, okay, you might. Now I'm not gonna just go zero to 100, so. I'm not, not gonna just turn it on and go right next to her immediately. I might just kind of do this for a little bit. All right, baby steps. Like I mentioned, we're gonna do the half mile before we start trying to do the mile. All right, then I might turn it on a little bit further away.
that's what it looks like. And that was actually really good to see because she's a little bit nervous around the vacuum cleaner. Rightfully so, all right? This thing is, you know, different. Um, dogs don't really like it. It's loud, all right? But you noticed exactly what I was talking about before. She actually moved. She kind of got up, right? She fixed herself, which, which is good. She didn't get off entirely. She just got up. Um, and I told her no, all right? And I told her no, she needs to lay down. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is say, oh, it's okay, give me a hug, I'm so sorry. So. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to progress that. Um, when, if I do that, oh, excuse me, I have sleep. Whew. Hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. All right, I went away. But if I did do that, if she got up, and I, I know this, obviously she, she was a little bit insecure about it, she didn't feel comfortable, and I'm like, oh, baby girl, it's okay, blah, 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 blah. I'm reinforcing that. I'm reinforcing that that feeling. I'm telling her it's okay to get up and do all that stuff. Hold on, it's coming back. Whew. <laughs> ah. Bless me, thank you. Okay. Um, kind of going back to what I was talking about. She got up. I put her back down. No place, you know. And I gave her a verbal correction. No, I didn't give her a leash pile. I didn't do anything like that. But you notice, as once I did that and I gave her that verbal, she went back down. I was able to progressively move a little bit closer, a little bit closer with the vacuum, and she was doing a lot better. Okay, she didn't. She, I was like almost like right in her face. She didn't move at all. So that's the progression of it. We just build on that. We build on that. We try new things. We have kids running around. We got bounce balls, balls left and right. All that stuff is what we want. All right. So that's the place command. That's that's how to get a dog to hold the place command. I hope this video makes sense. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. You subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notifications. Share this video if you need to. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you guys download the five biggest um, puppy mistakes that people make with their with their puppy and or dog because it applies to dogs as well, the older dogs. Um, make sure you download that. That way you know you, you can look at it and make sure you're not making those mistakes and prevent a lot of issues down the road or, you know, start fixing some of the issues that you're having now. So make sure you check that on the bottom. Um, again, like, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all with another video.